Let's take a look at the layout of the Volker modular. You will notice that it looks similar to a Buchler easel with the modules on top and the key bed at the bottom. Let's start with the left here where we have the sound source. It's a pair of triangle oscillators with wave folding and frequency modulation capabilities. You get a ratio dial to adjust the frequency relationship between the two oscillators. The oscillator source is routed to the low pass gate, but before we look at that, let's take a look at the functions section. In this section, we get two function generators. One is an AHR envelope, attack hold release, and the second is a rise fall function generator with control over shape and time. The next section is a dual low pass gate, where we get two low pass gates. The first one is controlled by the first function generator, the attack hold release envelope. And as I mentioned earlier, the triangle core oscillator is routed to this first low pass gate. The second low pass gate doesn't have anything routed through it by default, but combined with the first low pass gate, its output is routed to the space out section, which is a digital reverb unit. This is the only digital element on this synthesizer. Now, if you forget this default routing I just showed you, don't worry, because you can just follow the line from the oscillator section all the way to the space out section, and that will show you the routing. Aside from the audio signal path, there are also some other control modules. There's a clock with a master clock BPM control, and it has CV ins and outs. There's this woggle module, which is a dual sample and hold section with inputs and outputs. There's a split module, which acts like a malt. Two malts, actually. There's CV in on an eighth inch jack for getting some external control into the synth. There's sync in and out, just like every other Volker. In the middle here, there's a utility module with three inputs, A, B, and C, which can be modified in various ways and are put here. Just below is where you have the sequencer, play, record, and other function buttons that we will discover in the next few tutorials. Finally, in the bottom section, you get the 16 note key bed to play the instrument, set the sequencer, and set up some functions also, which we will go over in later tutorials. All right, a lot to cover in this course. So join me in the next tutorial, where we will dive deeper into the oscillator section.